As the race for the White House heats up, you can expect no shortage of polls trying to predict the outcome. But which ones are accurate uh, and which ones can we believe? Tan Trung spoke with a local pollster to find out. A recent Fox News poll. In the latest CNN poll of polls. On cable Harris news and online, you'll find an endless stream of polls on the presidential race. Lynn Kale Barron considers herself engaged in this election, but says the amount of polling can be a lot to take in. Ever since um, Biden jumped out of the race and uh, Kamala got into the race, that, you know, more polls have come out, more things have come out, and whereas you had polls that were just one-sided, now they're completely fluctuated. I don't know if there's too many polls. Um, there aren't probably enough good quality polls. Dr. Ed Sherbinak is a political science professor at the University of New Orleans. He's also a political pollster, probably best known for his work with UNO's Quality of Life Survey for Jefferson and Orleans parishes. He says internet polling in large call centers had made it possible to get polls published in less than a day. Should we believe those? Are those accurate? I mean, when you can turn data around that quickly, is that representative of perhaps how the country is feeling? Like, um, what is that supposed to reflect that guy? Sure. If they are randomly selecting these respondents, then we can be fairly certain within a margin of error that these polls are representative of the larger population. So that's the real key, whether they're using probability theory, you know, there's a probability that each and every individual has a known and equal chance of being selected for the poll. News organizations, including Fox News and CNN, commissioned their own polls. And while their news coverage could lean politically one way, Shervinek says their polls are actually very objective. The New York Times, Siena College is another high quality poll. So a lot of the media are producing these high quality polls. And, you know, one of the things, uh, that I would basically point out is that national polls tend to be pretty accurate. It's the state-based polls where we're finding more error. For a voter like Lynn Cal Barron, she's not relying on polls to guide her decision. You really can't honestly depend on other folks for information that you need to gather for yourself. And Dr. Shurvenek says if you want to get a gauge of where the presidential race stands, don't look at one particular poll, but try to get the big picture. He says websites like the 538 project here. This site is basically taking the average of most of the major polls and gives you a snapshot of the overall horse race, which as of today puts Kamala Harris ahead of Donald Trump by more than two percentage points.